So a couple weeks ago, I went to go visit my folks and uh, took the whole family along. And while we we're there, my wife's admiring these flowers that my uh, mom has planted in the front of the house. These uh, hydrangeas or hydrangeas, somehow, however you say it. So she's come to the conclusion that she wants one. So the other day that we're going around looking in stores, trying to find one, trying to find one that she ain't got to use seeds to grow. She finds them, they're like 30 bucks. I'm like, I don't know if I want to pay $30 for a plant. So she continues to look and she's like, oh, we found some for $5. And I'm like, okay, let's go get it. That sounds great. Five bucks is five bucks. That's a whole lot better than $30. Let's go get six of them. So anyway, she's there telling me about these and telling me that the, the blooms and the flowers of them are different colors. And then she tells me something that I am just totally blown away at. She tells me that, you know, they can be white or blue or all these different colors. And she tells me that the color of the flower is determined by the soil. And she tells me that. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, tell me again. And she's like, the color of the flower is determined by the soil. And I'm like, oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited she's telling me this. And she's looking at me like I'm crazy. And I was like, tell me again. She says, the color of the flower is determined by the soil. And I get ex excited again. And she, I, I say, tell it to me one more time. By this time, she's finally realized what's going on in my head. And she tells me. And I want to tell you what happened, what, what went on in my head. The color of the flower, the color of these hydrangeas, is determined by the soil. So you can have the same seed... You can put that same seed anywhere you want, but it's going to come up different colors depending on what kind of soil you put it in. Matthew 13 talks about the same thing. It is the parable of the sower and the seed. Jesus, God, the preacher, sows the seed, the same exact seed, to everyone who's listening in church. And and the way that it produces its fruit is determined by the soil, by the hearts of the people that hear it. That's just amazing to me. Just think about this. I can tell you the exact same thing that I tell 20 different people, and it will be taken 20 different ways. And it will grow faster and greater, or not at all, depending on the person, because it depends on the soil. Just think about that. Just meditate on that. You know, the Bible says that we're supposed to meditate on the Word. So you meditate on that, that the Word of God can produce in you just as much as it can a preacher or a minister or anybody else, an adult, a kid. It doesn't matter. It's all depending on the soil, depending on the heart. So let me ask you this. What kind of soil do you have? What kind of heart do you have? Think about that. When you read your Bible, when you study your Bible, the same person can be reading the exact same thing and can get far greater or far less, depending on how they receive it in their heart, depending on what their soil's like. So think on that and ask yourself, when you go to read, when you go to study, you pray beforehand and you ask, Lord, make my soil good soil. Make my heart receptive to your word and you can see what kind of flowers bloom what colors they are and what kind of harvest that you have i'll see you next time bye